see if I can find it. Where is I need a good villager. I need, a, I need someone who can trade me perfectly weak. Apparently a farmer is like, like the best you can get. I think that's the real graph one. Look at this guy. That guy is cookies. And that guy is electric switch track. Shoot. I think that's all of them. Damn. Okay, so we found a village. Unfortunately, it doesn't have anything I can actually use. So I think I may have to go over to another village to try and find something that is useful. And that kind of looks like an apothecary. Uh... Yeah, someone was definitely here. This is their stuff. I'm not gonna, not gonna take that. But yeah, this is an apothecary, and they left behind something not very useful. Okay, that was nice of them. Uh, the cauldron, on the other hand, uh, no. Eventually, I will need this, but not right now. Uh, the cauldron is actually used to make the Thomcraft Crucible, which I kind of want to get into the basic, very, very basic stuff in Thomcraft. But not, not going to happen anytime soon. All right, so I don't know if uh, the zombies may have killed off. Some of the other villagers, they probably did, but uh, at the moment I cannot do anything else. So I'm uh, I'm I'm gonna head out, and uh, ooh. I'm 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 gonna head out and maybe try to find another village if, if I can, because I really need one thing of emerald. So be back in a sec. Okay, so I am back at Spawn Town. Um, not a lot has changed since the last time that you were here. I did, however, install this the uh, Aroma Mining Dimension portal. Oh, hang on, I gotta get the coordinates. Uh, my memory is actually pretty bad, but it is. Negative four, three, five, negative nine, seven, seven, four, three, five. There we go. Got some lunch on some carrots here. So I'm um, back here. Unfortunately, I'm actually a little shy of what I wanted to make. What I want to make is one of these, a silky jewel. And I have gold, and I, and I have that thanks to a, a very useful villager that I found. I, I found uh, one emerald. Uh, I was able to trade for one emerald. Unfortunately, I do not have enough, enough string. I need half a stack. I only have about a quarter stack. So what I need is to try and find some of that mature cotton. I think I have some in my storage area. Uh, but I might not. Uh, let's see. I got seeds, mandrake. No, not here. Let me, let me check inside my base. I'm, I'm, uh, the basic design for spawn town and initial part is I want to have the, the train station with a couple of gardens in the front with a fountain, just for you know for decoration. I may uh, I, you know have Darslin or someone else do the fountain because I'm not quite that good building fountains. But we'll get to that when we come to it. Ah, okay, there's some Pam's Harvest Craft cotton. That's something. But I really want to get some Natura cotton because I think that's actually better. Okay, how do I not have any Natura cotton? Ooh, I have some more bones. That's good. How do I not have any Natura cotton seeds? Okay, well, I've been breaking uh, tall grass for quite some time. i got to fill in that hole when I get a chance. So one thing I need to do is level up this area. I've leveled out pretty much from here to over here. And this is a problem because this thing's actually gonna be bigger than I you know initially thought. The gardens are here. So the houses uh, sorry the, the the these this gravel here, I don't know how much gravel unfortunately. I gotta get some more. This gravel here and this gravel here denotes the center of the street. The uh, sh the shops and apartments are gonna go along this row here and where these trees are, this row here. Crap, I fell in the hole. And uh, I'm also going to have them extend a little bit to the north and south, but not very much because there's not much space. Cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put another, another area maybe here and extend it towards that because there's actually a drop-off not too far away of a hill past those trees. And, of course, uh, oh, sorry about that. Got my, got my Google notifications going on there. Uh, there's not much room over here to the north, but there is enough room for maybe one or two uh, places right here. Right until you hit this mountain, in which I have to I have to tunnel through in order to get to the other side by the train. There's no real purpose in doing the train through, through the tunnel. I just really kind of want to. Actually, I may wait a little bit because I'm kind of interested in, in how how powerful the uh, bore. I think it's called a tunnel borer is from Railcraft. So once I get to that, we'll, we'll see how that turns out. 
So uh, while I'm yakking around here, uh, one, two, three, four. So in order to get that, I need this space. Be like that. And I thought about about making a peridot hoe, but I just I couldn't justify it. I mean, I'm I'm not planning on doing that much gardening, you know, in general, uh, to justify that kind of an expense for a hoe. Even though it's it's not really that expensive to stuff this all over the place, and later in the game it will be pretty useless, ex with the possible exception of mine chemistry. I think it's going to be useful in that when 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 I, when I come to it. So the harvest craft, I think you have to yeah you have to make pyramid of seeds first. Then drop them down, and these these are pretty good. So I, and I've got a, quite a bit of bone, useful. Um, oh no, actually that was a pretty stupid idea. There you go, that's mature. Okay, so there's a problem. It only gave me one cotton for that, so it was a single replacement. That this is the reason why I want Natura and not har Harvest Craft, because the Natura ones. Are uh, much quicker to grow, and they their rebound is much faster. Meaning they get they get stuff a lot quicker. So um, I'm just gonna break some, break some seeds around here, and uh, be right back. Bingo. <laughs> okay, so I actually gave up uh, breaking uh, tall grass because it was it gave me nowhere. But I managed to find some mature cotton seeds. Sweet cotton plants that is. Let me just drop off uh, so much of this stuff. You know I. I I like Batania. I think it's a great concept. I think it's a wonderful idea. You know, I'm. I wish I was a bigger fan. But I'm actually a huge fan of magic systems because I think they're kind of really hard, and I'm terrible at, among other things, Stormcraft uh, magic. Magic witchery. I'm a little bit better at, but not by much. But Batania, as cool as it is, I really just. Find it a source of weeds. I'm, I'm really sorry, Vasky. I'm actually one of your Twitter followers, but I just—it's it, just a source of weeds for me. It's just—I I find myself, even in late in later games, uh, just breaking and disposing of more Batania flowers than I ever use. So hmm, that's what it is. I kind of wish the Batania flowers were biome dependent, like they only spawned in like I don't know forest or something. Places, but, well, even that would make a difference, really. Just I wish that there was some place. Well, no, actually, not in the, not in the desert. True, not those they don't spawn in desert areas. Ah, well, I'm I'm just wishful thinking, make things make things easier for me. So I do have a little bit of of the cotton from Natura, and I got some of the, the cotton from. Is that right? Yeah, that's four. That one's just going very slowly. So the downside to Natura cotton is that it does take a little while to get going. So it needs just like a melon, an initial hit, there we go, to spring up. The good part is that once it springs, you hit it with this. Oh, see, these are both pink. When they're in the pink stage, you're actually, oh, this is actually a very important pro tip. The pink stage of Natura, if you're interested in getting seeds, then this is actually the best stage you can get, you can, you can get seeds with. See, I just got four seeds because they were in the pink stage. If I if I just broke it in the green stage, like this, it, it, less, less likely to get seeds. But the pink stage is more likely. I could probably use one more. Oh, I got three in that one. Sweet. So I, I'll, I'll keep a spare for, for, for later. So I, I'm pretty sure that the... I, I think I think that the same or similar. Um, mature cotton. Let me see. I think... No, it's a nine. I think it must it must be nine. I I think you need nine cotton in order to make a wool. Yep, that's correct. Nine cotton per wool, but three per string. When in that way, it's not as good <clears throat> as harvest craft because harvest craft actually gives you, if you see here, it gives you two uh, per, per per cotton. Unfortunately, uh, our harvest craft is much slower to, to grow, so you, you do get more result, but it get, takes takes longer to, to do it. So I get some here. I got twenty three. I need thirty two. I've only got a half stack of bone meal. Let's see if I can do it. So right clicking to apply bone meal. Left clicking just to take to to pick the cotton. And I actually, no, I, I was about to say I was going to sing a cotton picking song, but A, it's, that's racist, and B, I don't actually know any cotton picking songs. There you go. There, and uh, another thing. Do not apply bone meal 
to the pink stage. If you do, it will be a waste of bone meal. Uh -huh. When it goes pink, you just got to wait for it to regrow. And I'm doing this uh, slowly just to save my bone meal because this is all I have. And there we go. Okay, so let's see if I can if I, if I can get a 32. If I can't, I'll have to, I don't know, do something else. 31. Oh, man. I need one more. All right. Uh, I can't. These things aren't, aren't fully grown yet. Shoot. I'm gonna do this. Uh, huh. How do I get one? Oh, I actually, I, I can just wait for the cotton to grow. Or do I still have those segments? I, I, I went to the Nether, like I said uh, b before, to uh, get some bloodwood saplings, which unfortunately I can't use here. I realize because I don't have enough uh, Nether rack, and I need um, a vertical shelf in order, in order to make them grow on. So I I, I, I'm pretty sure they do actually grow in the overworld. I'm not 100% sure about that, but I'm pretty sure. Nothing in here. <clears throat> hmm. but, I th but anyway, when I was in the nether, I did grab a couple of bone segments. So I might still have those. Let me check. Going to my little cave here. Uh, I'm, I am gonna, definitely going to have to level this area. And not knock this mountain down because there's just there's not enough space. I mean, the, the, I, 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 I can foresee maybe one, two, three buildings occupying this space on each side. So that's six buildings here and a couple more that way, which is not bad. But I really I think I have to knock that this thing down in order to get a better view. Plus, it, it actually is a nice view there on the other side of this mountain. Uh, there's, there's snow. Ow! Damn! Stupid potholes. I got fill these in. A pothole the size of a cave. Uh, on the other side of this, there, there's a small, there's a plains area, I, I think, or is it? No, it's a swamp, but it's nice looking. It's a nice, it's a nice looking swamp. But it's, 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 it's the only is, it's Disneyland. This is Disneyland without all the rides and a birch forest. Okay, so yeah, this is um, on my wrecking list when, when, I, when I get around to it. And the reason I'm getting, I'm getting around to it is because I need to make a hammer. And um, this is all, all this all this preparation here is just to make a ooh dirt and uh, gravel. I, need, I actually need gravel. How? Why was I carrying around an iron shovel before? I don't know. But I need gravel. I'm gonna use that as a marker. I thought about using. <clears throat> I thought about using uh, green wool for a while, but wool is actually kind of hard to find right now. I don't have an animal uh, system set up. I, <clears throat> it's hard to see from here, but I don't think it's grown yet. Just need one more cotton. One more cotton is all I need, and then we are in business. Okay, I think that one might have grown. Yep, there we go. So one more cotton. Uh, oh, no, not one more cotton. I need one more string, so I need three more cotton. There's one. And is that grown? No, these are only half grown. See? All right, need two more of those. Okay, what else can I do in the meantime? Uh, I, I want to keep you guys entertained. I just don't. I don't want to just do it on you doing normal uh, stuff uh, in every day. Uh, let's put down some more, some gravel. So I'm I make I'm making lists of what I, I like suggestions on which kind of buildings to build in here, and uh, I mean it's similar to what we had in, in last last season. Definitely, I, I, I want to build I would like a hotel in here. I think that'd be a really cool idea, and especially a saloon with an old west theme, which is what I'm going for. I think that that would be very uh, welcome. I, I don't know if if Darzlin's going to want to do that again, but I, I'm, just, I'm making the space for it, and hoping that it turns out pretty cool. I'm I'm also thinking because I somewhere I'm pretty sure I saw. I may I don't think it was Podzil, but I guess this is only one seven ten. But I believe. It was some kind of, of strange dirt, and I, I may want to use that in, in addition. Make this, just make this a little less green. I was I wanted it to be a desert biome, ideally, and it's not a desert. It, it's, it's a uh, extreme hills, which I love extreme hills, but not exactly the most conducive towards an old west theme. I mean, up in the mountains, probably be a little more appropriate because they use a lot of uh, panhandling and stuff. And stuff. 